Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage TJ Shear. Good morning, good morning. In the spirit of chart, where's my remote, boys? All right, real quick while we find that. There's a quote if you've seen me before, amateurs practice until you get it right, pros practice until you can't get it wrong. It's a philosophy that we should all take in training because if you think about it, it's the difference between steroids and vitamins. A lot of our training is front end loaded, it's steroids. I got it, we're good, sorry. Thank you, Gabe. I, we front end load thing. We give everybody the steroid shot, the new unit opening, the new training, the new hotel, and then nothing happens after that. Close your eyes for just a second. Think back to when Melissa and Kurt and everybody were talking yesterday. Close your eyes and imagine a world where you have 2% manager turnover, 2%, 50% hourly employee turnover. Your restaurant or your hotel is running one mistake every 3,600 orders. How easy would our jobs be? What could we really be focusing on? Instead of putting out fires, we get to train what really matters. And this is happening, if you've ever heard of a company called Pals in Tennessee, they won the Baldridge Award. And uh, Jeannie Kiros, who I don't think is at this conference, but her company down in Austin, K&N Management. There are people out there doing these things. Amateurs practice until they get it right. Pros practice until they can't get it wrong. Now, a little bit about me. I spend about two-thirds of my time running 13 Witch Witch franchises that we own, or as I like to say, uh, we own 11 restaurants and two charities. So <laughs> I spend the other 25% of my time, I spend the other 25 or 30% of my time talking to other groups and teaching them how to build teams of top performers. And I'm going to kind of piggyback off of what Jim said today. Our mission, our true north is make the guests say wow. Very simple, just make the guests say wow. For the guys that I used to work with at Chuck E. Cheese, we had every guest leaves happy. It's the same. That's our true north. But we've had problems trying to get this through to our staff. How do we get these kids on the front line to do this? So think back with a show of hands here. How many people can hold this better than me? How many of you were born 1992 or later? 1992 or later. Not you, Dr. Mike. Come on. <laughs> How many of you all are under 30? Okay, so there's a fair number. You know, I'm 50. Okay, I just turned 50. When I started in the training world back in the 80s, we got three-inch thick operations manuals, heavy Microsoft Word documents. This was a steroid shot of information. <coughs> was it very effective for those of us who were trainers back then? Probably not. It was very hard to, to move forward. 1990, this guy at his very first chart conference in 1994 with those rocking glasses <laughs> had just moved into training with video and DVD, but it was still kind of steroid based. You didn't have control. You fast forward to, Earl, remember, everybody remember this movie? The, probably the only clean line I could ever uh, mention from this thing. I just remember the guy saying, go sit in the dry storage room and watch the videos. I'll be back in 90 minutes. <laughs> Those of us that went through training back then, that's how it was. It was just steroid shot. We couldn't get through. So we get to the 2000s, and I saw Sam yesterday. Remember how he said you could go find any website, what it used to look like at a date and time? There's Jeff Tennant's first Discover Link website. No, I'm just kidding. But, <laughs> but we moved into the e-learning capacity in 2000, where it started to become a little bit more controlled by the user. E-learning came in. For, fast forward to 2005, the video iPods are released. Now we can do playlist training, vitamins, small bits, reinforcing, train where you need, when you need, and just what you need. 2010, QR codes come out. We've all probably done these. We've seen these. It puts a user in control. Pals uses flashcards. So I put a lot of this stuff into my restaurants. We were emailing the GM, sending out all the messages to the stores, but we still weren't getting through. We still weren't getting through. If you think about how we focus today, our employees, we can't keep them off the phones. Hell, now they're sitting there walking around our own restaurants or hotels looking for Pokemon, right? But think about that approach to your training or your orientation and let them do a tour tour a la Pokemon Go. That's what they get. I'm 50, I can fight it, or I'm 50 and I can figure out how to train this generation because it's different. So what do we do? First off, understand this generation is not different 
The average tenure in 1983 is the same as it was now for a young worker. Nothing has changed, yet everything's changed. They still work about the same amount of time. So here's what we did. This is the aha. We created an app. I was frustrated as an operator trying to get through. Some of my managers communicate real well to our store. Some of us don't. So we created an app. It is the cultural vitamin that we were looking for. Trust everyone but brand your cattle. So here's an example. They can click through. They can see our community. This is the Witch Witch Twitter page. They can see some of the philanthropic things that we do. It's a thing called Project PB&J uh, that Witch Witch put out and made available to our franchisees. This is a flag your bag. It's another system. So we can engage the employees in our culture as a franchisee, but also as a culture as a franchise. Or Here's all the guest surveys that we can feed through. I only have to do this once and it goes. We put photos in there to recognize our employees so they can see things that they're doing. And again, the kids get this because it's just a click, it's a scroll, it's a swipe. Here they can see some pictures of our employees out in the community and we can put faces on these philanthropic programs. When I email stuff to the managers and click a link here and do this, the kids don't get it. I have to simply just put this in an uh, iPhoto feed and it pulls up. It's very simple. We have ways for the employees to communicate to us. They can send suggestions and we put our training videos right into the app. No hardware requirement, it works on Android, it works on Apple. They can go through, they can scroll down, they can watch a video. Imagine, whether you're an operator or a trainer, that you can essentially automate all of your pre-shift messages. You can have everybody just watch the one minute video clip, thanks to Legacy for making the video you're seeing right here. There's Todd, he's a good actor too. Low budget, we got to keep those things down. So they can watch the videos right there in the palm of their hand. This is great for our managers because everybody can watch whatever it is that they need. It's vitamins, it's vitamins, it's vitamins. Now, we have a lot of catering. This may not work so much in your per se, but you can put in an iCal and link this so as all your training events could be in there. Everybody can scroll through. In my case, they can see all the catering orders, but you could actually automate all of your calendars for your employees so they have this right in the palm of their hand. They get this stuff. We, we launched this four weeks ago with a program you'll see right here. I can send out an L, a, a notification. They can swipe on it. There's my old password if you guys want to see it, okay? <laughs> and it just says a simply, uh, you know, click on the cloud below to view a thing with order accuracy because I got three complaints one day on order accuracy. Instantaneously, I can send out a video that every employee can see focused on order accuracy because we just forget. You got to trust everyone but brand your cattle. Now, I know some of you are probably sitting there going, how do we get all this stuff done, right? How do we get this stuff done? It's very simple. I've subscribed to a company. I'll show you in a second. But I can go in literally on my laptop at any time, type in the headline, what I want for the push notification. You'll see as you go through there, I can just drag in, in this case, a website link. There's audio files, emails, calendar events. There's all kinds of things. I just type it in. I'm a slow typer. Sorry. You pull in, you'll see here in just a second, I pull the little website in, copy and paste the URL link in, tell it when to send it, boom. Saturday night, before I flew here, I got those three complaints. Sunday morning, everybody was seeing this. It's getting everybody to True North. It's very simple. Now, I bet half of you guys are sitting here saying, what was the cool software that you did to get your phone on the thing? So some of you guys that are on the technical side, here's, here's kind of how we did. If you, if you want to just do cool video stuff, App Show, it's free. Same company that did tech, uh, Camtasia. Very simple. Amplifies the company that we used that builds the app. I can go in there and just manage the app. You know, we're in the political climate right now, and Trump's new slogan is Make America Great Again. I'll leave you on this note. Train. Make America Great Again. You guys enjoy the rest of the conference. Thanks. Thanks.